Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by BlackRifleCoffee.com. Hey! Hi. Welcome da, da, to Drinking da, 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 Bros. Fake we need, a, we need a catchy little lead-in song. Okay, yeah, I'll make like, that. Like I'll make that. I got it. I got it. You, you know? want some fly-ins? I got yeah, it. Fly-ins. Got it. Fly-ins. Drinking Bros. Fake news. news. Drinking Bros. Fake, fake news. news. Bullshit news. <laughs> bullshit news. <laughs> fake no, Top news. 10 fake. bullshit news of the week. Uh, let's start with number one. Jesse Smollett's. An hmm. empire. Not only I did he... I think Smollett. It is Smollett. Is it yeah. Smollett? Yeah. Smollett. Yeah, we were discussing Smollett. it earlier. Smollett. Smollett. Yeah. Is, yeah. is that really how you say it? I don't know. I have no I idea. I just made that up. Yeah. So I is this true that he openly came out and said that he faked the attack because he wasn't happy with his, his wage? That's well, it is now because so MAGA well. country um, was, was exposed. <laughs> so... Uh, yes, so he came out and, and uh, essentially it came down to the wire of, hey man, we're pressing charges. You can have one right. Hail Mary to tell the truth. And then he went in and told the truth. The two Nigerian brothers uh, got caught on camera at, what, what was it, the Hungry Beaver, Dave? Or the yeah, Thirsty Beaver like hardware store? Yeah. Buying yeah. rope. Thirsty beaver hardware store. Either way, that beaver needs some nutrition. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, turns out he was unhappy about his salary. Instead, he tried to leverage the... LGBTQT, whatever the fuck, community and uh, Trump supporters to really just boost his fucking salary. What do you think is going to happen to him now, Evan? Is this jail time probably? Bag. Uh, well, I it's think, a felony. Yeah, it's a felony. So I think he's, I think he's going to jail. Min- uh, I, I think I think he's going to jail. That's that's what yeah. I think is going to happen. He faces a felony charge of disorderly conduct for falsely claiming he was attacked by two men on January 29th in Chicago. These are just, the, by the way, the city charges. There's also going to be right. federal charges. But this is a perfect example of what I think needs to happen, which is if you accuse somebody falsely of a hate crime, you actually get, get charged get with, the hate crime. with yeah. the hate crime. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> right? So what would what would that hate crime do? Like what, what would the charges be on something like that, Dan? That's pretty brutal. Um I don't know what the multipliers are because it goes by state sometimes. Right. Um but typically it becomes You're gonna have assault, you're gonna have battery, but it's a federal it becomes aggravated at right. that point. So our special circumstances depending on the jurisdiction. So aggravated would mean that there was some other factor involved and special circumstance would be like if you committed a, a crime and then there was like a child involved or something mm-hmm. so you would get a multiplier in your sentence basically yeah i think i think you double them up on stuff like this i think yeah. you get i think you get the for the act itself plus you get sentenced with the hate crime on top of agreed, it agreed agreed <clears throat> because what this does mm-hmm. especially if you're make from, an example out of them yes yeah, you have yeah. to yeah especially you, a high you absolutely for sure have I mean, to part of me wants him to uh part of me wants to take into consideration as well the social impact of what he did Correct. Um, that's a big. That's a big one. But the problem with that, you can't really punish people for that because Bradenburg v. Ohio back in the day, you, like, you have to make specific threats towards specific people to get right. charged with something like that. Yeah, but the I implications that we've, I mean, we've seen it in this group that you and I have been dancing around in. Yeah. Like the the side on his side, because this has been really interesting. Because yeah. I've never really interacted with people from a completely opposite viewpoint. They're still behind him. Yeah. Because they're like, What's Don no, Lemon today. How much, yeah, yeah, how much you want to bet that the, the cops are framing him for this and this is all, yeah. this is all, you know, racist and what did Don Lemon fucking do Don, today? Don Lemon was saying uh, something about how, well, it doesn't, whether, whether he was guilty of this or not or whether he made it up or not, it doesn't, you know, it's, he's being judged in the court of public opinion. I really, like, dude, no, he's being judged by the fucking facts of the case, right. Don Lemon, you yeah. piece of shit. And people have been downplaying it like, oh, why are we going to hang this guy out to dry for just lying? Wait, what? Uh, yeah. He, no. com- he, he framed and, and created a hoax to sway a political fucking opinion. If I was someone who supported people like him, I would be way more mad at him than I am right now. Well, 100% because you stood behind him and he fucking lied to your yeah, face. Yeah. You're like, screw this motherfucker. It'd be like you asking me for 10 grand so you can, you know, pay your mom's cancer treatment. I gave you the well, 10 grand. You're like, just kidding. Went to Vegas and burned yeah, it. Exactly. I'd be like, I'm going to beat your ass. On dude. the other side, too, though, he also, you know, he, he got the whole left side media, you know, news entertainment side just blowing up trying to to make this thing the biggest thing ever and now they all look like idiots because he just made them all look stupid he, he did and I'll, and I'll say this jared trevor noah on the daily show said today he said look this is a, a home run grand slam for trump he didn't yep. have to do yeah. anything it proved his point about all the shit that he's been saying about fake news forever and ever and ever 
And he, he checked off all the boxes. Not only did he go black and racist, but then he went gay. Because I don't know if you saw that. <laughs> I, I'm dead serious. I don't know if you saw that Good Morning America interview. When they asked him, uh, you know, what do you, what do you take out of this whole situation? He said, I take out of this the fact that I am a, a strong gay black boy. I'm the gay Tupac is what he called himself. And I fought back. And he said, you know, I was able to, to punch them and, and kick ass. Oh my right. god! Yeah, like right. like he came up with. Look at that. The attackers yelled racist and homophobic slurs, tied a rope around his neck, and poured an unknown substance on him. He pretty much picked up from like these acid attacks, and then uh, get this fucking gross. And he, he, he wrote a letter. Scripted. He Colossal wrote a letter to. to did you see fuck. the letter to Fox? Bring that that letter up, Dave. It's a stick figure that's being hung. Yeah. So this this uh, the black guy in the picture there is the as the police commissioner and he announced during his press conference today that Smollett also said he wrote the letter. Right. So that letter oh, wow. gets out, Smollett wrote this shit. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this but like it's 2019, bro. You can't yeah. get away with <laughs> bullshit like this anymore. Yeah. You can't make stuff up. Somebody's going to have a camera on you at the fucking convenience store buying the the fucking bleach to throw on yourself or the two fucking Nigerian Did he guys. buy the actual stuff? No, the two Nigerian think, guys. Yeah, so the Nigerian yeah. guys but did. somebody's going to see something somewhere. You can't fucking do this shit anymore. Well, the problem is now is he just sent every... Now, if there is a hate crime that does happen in the United States, it, yeah. it automatically puts it into a skeptical eye, mm -hmm. and people yeah. will will think that it's a hoax. So when things that it's, of yeah. this magnitude happen in the future, the boy who what cried is wolf. done? Ow. Yeah, the boy who cried wolf. Yeah, yeah but in this them. case, you're not just it crying is. wolf for yourself. You're crying wolf for your whole fucking community. Yeah, Correct. and that's unfortunate because people that have legitimate hate crimes against them, it might, in certain people's perspective, uh, delegitimate. I made that word up. Uh, delegitimize? Yeah. I mean, Jesus, could you imagine he gets 10 years? <laughs> uh, three. Three is the max for him on this sentence. Oh, wow. Uh, so well, and it's and his, his it's lawyers three. came out and said, we're going to have a, a freaking aggressive defense. Yeah. To what? To what? To what? Yeah, yeah, he, he did, did it. What? He just admitted it. The best thing to do right. is come out like, I'm a douchebag that tried to fake my yeah, way to Hollywood. I saw some left-leaning report, like tweets and stuff over the last few days where they're saying... Why aren't we concerned with his mental state right now? Oh We're just concerned god. with his actions. Oh like, my god! Oh my god! Why aren't we talking about what led him to do such oh a thing? God. Leveraged your your pseudo celebrity status in order to race bait people. This and has then to be propel old. you in the public eye and provoke basically a division between white and black in the United States to give yourself more professional credibility in a in a better position. That's that this is so fucking disgusting. I, I really, how much more can we say other than this guy is? Yeah, we're done disgusting. with this one. This yeah. is disgusting. I, I, at, hey, idiot. just to, to tie a bow on this one, any thought yeah. that he went to, he wanted to get caught to go to jail because he, he was gay and maybe he could meet some people. <laughs> no, I doubt that. <laughs> All <laughs> right, on to uh, number two. <laughs> All on to the next one. <laughs> Zion oh. Sioux so explosion. Zion Williamson, Duke, <laughs> uh, best prospect out of college. Or an 18-year-old oh, since, since LeBron James. Oh, wow. His, the whole bottom came oh, off the shoe. Yeah. Dude. Can, play the video, Ooh, Dave. Yes. Did, he, did he break his ankle or something? Yeah. He's, no, he, he's, he's, got a, he's got a mild, mild, mild knee sprain. sprain. Uh, and it's but actually again, in the other leg. Yeah, it's in the other leg. You'll see it. He kind of hyperextended oh, a little bit. But man. this is the... Uh, it's the, not good. He is the number no. one... Prospect. Rated prospect since LeBron James, basically. He is a man-child. He's leading the nation in everything. He is the guaranteed number one pick. His shoe deal, they're predicting, will go for over $100 million. This happens last night, uh, and, and it was Nike. It was the new Paul George shoes. First, oh, first of all, these tickets, yeah. these tickets last night were going higher than the Super Bowl. Everybody Whoa. is was here to see this Seriously? kid. Cameron Endor yeah. only has like four thousand seats or some shit. Wow. So yeah, only four thousand okay, seats. Gotcha. Spike Lee flew in. Uh, Obama flew in. Ken Griffey Jr. A bunch of other celebrities. Listen, the reason this why this went second... mega viral was Obama was sitting courtside. So when this happened, the way that the camera was angled, you can see Obama in the background mouthing the words, "Oh my God, his shoe broke." Today, <laughs> Nike stock fell 3%. My question to you guys is this. <laughs> Hypothetical, let's say this happened to, to Black Rifle Coffee and somebody got burned or something fucked up happened. What do you do when, when something like this happens? What's the, what type of damage control can you well, possibly do? Well, first of all, there's, a, there's like 2 billion Nike shoes on earth, and if that's the first time we've seen this happen, then you know that's what you I'm, that's I what would just want to point out, this is the second president involved in a fucking shoe fucking incident. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's a good point. Well, somebody <laughs> they threw it at George W. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, a good like, point. That was, like, that was we more need of to a point this out. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah that, but I that mean, is a good point. George Bush was involved in an assault with a shoe. Barack Obama is involved in a basketball situation with a how, shoe. Maybe this is how they were going to win the the game was to mm. sabotage a shoe and take out their lead player. <laughs> whoa, whoa, <laughs> right? Put on the tin hat here, boys. Oh, oh. You know, we just we're talking a, fake news here. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. There maybe, you go. maybe this. Maybe Barack Obama was going for that player. Bush came back yeah. and messed up the shoe. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. I, or Barack was seriously thinking about his fourth book, and he wanted a shoe incident. I, I want to know where. <laughs> I want to know incident. where the third shoe is. Where is the third no shoe? Where is the third shoe? Where is the third shoe? It's on a where is the third shoe? It's on a grassy, it? grassy Gra- knoll. It's on a grassy knoll behind a fence. <laughs> yep. God damn it! That's no one's happened. asking that question right so, now. Nobody's pushing for the facts. No, in this you know what they need to do. Someone needs to make this video, and then it pans into a Reebok shoe in the state. And in the crowd, and he's just smirking. The, the Reebok shoes yeah. smirking. Yeah. No, <laughs> <laughs> no the yeah. got you, bitch. The Reebok shoe just needs to be be, be behind an M14, and it's just like <laughs> maybe maybe this is a uh, karmic justice for the Kaepernick campaign, Nike. I don't Ooh. know. Ooh. Damn. Boom. Ah, there you on. go. Boom. Hey, boom. The hard cow. questions. Cow, cow. That's what <laughs> yeah. Drinking Bros. Fake News is about. Yeah. Where's the third Where's shoe? The third hey, shoe. That's what we do. You Where think, is it? Do you think Nike get, is getting a kickback off that sixty to eighty million dollars sell? Element company guy because they don't he doesn't get it without them I don't think uh, I don't think he gets without it without them without them keeping him yeah, yeah. in the media I, I don't think happen. he gets it or maybe they just want to do a big buyback so they're like ah let's script this dude's shoe we'll drop our stocks we'll get some better points and maybe. then uh, that would we'll be savage oh, yeah. Yeah. could they you imagine the if Kaepernick just bought Nike stock today. Oh, oh damn! Dun, 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 Maybe this is a fucking thing. Maybe these two are working together, Kaepernick and him. <laughs> oh, the, and there we go. Kaepernick's giving him some money to buy some Nike stock. Hey, we need you to dip the stock a little bit. I'm going to buy yeah. a bunch of it. <laughs> I need you to take a dive. Listen, I, I wonder if Nike's going to take care of this young man, like up and coming. Oh, you know, great athlete. Oh, yeah, Woo! he's going to get they probably. Fl- they better fly in the best <laughs> knee fucking doctor. No, that, he, it's just yeah. a mild knee spree. He'll he'll probably come out of the gate with Nike with a three hundred million dollar contract. Is my guess? <laughs> no, like, for no, real. no, no, I'm, for I'm real. serious. Yeah. Well, I mean, this gave Nike a well, lot of you, attention. Wait, the real thing is here is he's going to is he going to come out like Ricky Bobby after the the crash? Oh, like yeah. he can't run on his Nike. He's going to think he's on fire, and he's like he's not actually using Nike. He's just taping the Nike logo. Over some new balances. <laughs> some new balances. <laughs> <laughs> I swear these are the. Where's the third <laughs> shoe? All right, Ross. What's up next? Uh, next. Oh, this one pains my soul. Chris Hemsworth has been cast to play Hulk Hogan in the biopic. What? Wait. Of- what? what the Why? Fuck? Oh yeah. 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 For for Netflix. Now. Wait, wait. This gets this gets Hell better. Yeah. Uh, directed by Todd Phillips of The Hangover. Um, also, uh, obviously, he did War Dogs. Great director and produced by Bradley Cooper. Man, I'm super <laughs> pissed what? about this. Yeah, Chris um, Hemsworth. Hey, do you think he's gonna uh, bang some chick and say the n word a lot? I know it's like that, after the sex tape and yeah. all that. It's like, just do we need a biopic I don't on think, Hulk Hogan? It like, says he it's gonna examine TV. his whole life, so po- possibly. Um, I, but do you need that in your life? Yeah. So I don't get the Chris Hemsworth thing. Isn't Who? he British or something? Yeah, yeah he's, he's Australian. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. So what? Uh. Who would play Hulk Hogan? Um, to boy, that's yeah, it's, well, it's such a tough role because Hulk Hogan's one of those guys, and we all know those guys who look forty at the age of twenty. If you pull up yeah, a picture, yeah. Dave, of Hulk Hogan at twenty, he already looks like a fucking forty year old. That's a really Wait, is hard that one to Thor. Cast. Yes, it's oh, Thor. yeah, that's God. Thor. Thor's gonna play Hulk Hogan. Yeah, I, Thor. I don't understand why you guys are so disappointed in this. I don't, actually, yeah, if I picked anybody, he's it would boring. Be yeah, I don't, so I don't care boring. either way because I'm not gonna watch it. So I mean, I gotta watch. Yes, you will, Matt. It'll be on Netflix. You will. Yeah, I want to hear. Oh yeah, brother. Come hey, on, brother. brother. Yeah, hey, brother. <laughs> I mean, you know he's probably yeah. like digging deep right now well, because he's got the spotlight on him. Chris Hemsworth better be fucking triple shooting stacking. up some fucking yeah. triple stacking Trent and Ben and yeah, he's Jim and big. whatever else they yeah. put in your ass for that stuff. Triple stacking like a New Jersey teenager the week before spring break <laughs> is what he should be fucking doing. <laughs> Yeah, well, I don't get this one. We look for the, We look forward to that. But I can't think of somebody else that I would imagine I c- playing Hulk Hogan either, though. Yeah. Do you, no. think, do you think he hides the hammer somewhere in the movie? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Do you think he puts yeah. a Thor action figure somewhere in the background? Yeah, do where's you think, the hammer? Do you think he where's just travels around with a fake hammer and action figures? Yes. I would. I, <clears throat> I would. Why wouldn't you? 
I Can you like, imagine if a kid at the grocery store recognized you? You better go to your fucking fancy car, Chris Hemsworth, and pull out a fucking yes. hammer, hammer. Yeah. and make yeah. that six-year-old's fucking day. I mean, yeah. Yeah, it true. would be funny yeah. to just troll people by running the hammer through the fucking x-ray machine at the airport. Yeah. Isn't it Chris Pratt's kid who's like a big uh, Captain America fan and he's always butthurt about it? Like, oh, yes. like yeah. I'm a yeah, superhero. Yeah. My kid likes this other guy better. Yeah, That's pretty funny. <laughs> That's, super That's like really that. funny. I, I would like to see a Coen Brothers film oh, uh, yeah. like they do Hulk Hogan that's what I would like and to he see. just gets murdered just Sasha see... Baron Cohen <laughs> some yeah. kind of weird did you watch their last movie Evan <laughs> the, the Ballad which of Buster it? Scruggs it's on Netflix yeah, I did. yeah. what'd you uh, think I watched some of it is it uh, good no I liked it I mean I, I, I liked it because it was different. several different stories within the the overall movie I thought it was way different than what I was expecting uh, I didn't get it until <laughs> Like yeah. halfway through, kind of, I was like, "What the fuck is going on?" And then yeah. it's like, "Oh yeah, yeah, this is good." When that I got guy it. was going to get hung, and he was on the horse, yeah. and then everybody dies with the Indians. Yeah, yeah I, I, I thought it was spoilers. fantastic. Spoilers. I, and there, there were there were things about it that I really liked. I, I thought it was the opening portion of it. Where kind of weird. It, I thought it was fantastic. I like, just gets smoked in the middle of the street. Yeah, like, oh, I just that, like. Who wasn't expecting that? Yeah, the Hollywood Reporter just says, "Time to eat your vitamins and say mm-hmm. your prayers." Come on, that's not the only thing he's fucking <laughs> eating other than Anadrol. No, hope. Come no on, way, dude. None vitamins. of those guys are running. Th- any... Yeah, is it going to show him banging his buddy's wife and all that? Oh, in there? God. Like, that's better be saying. accurate. Is, is that what he did? Yeah, and yeah, using yeah. racial <laughs> slurs on video yeah. too. Because in her, yeah, he no in uh, bed bed talk her, he he yeah. used Whoa. racial slurs. Yeah. But no, no, there his, was a recording <clears throat> of it. Yeah, yeah, there was. They were in bed together, I believe. But Hulk. Wait, his this? good friend had like a um, a, a cockhold fantasy, I believe it's called, where mm-hmm. you watch someone else fuck your wife, and so Hulk was like, "I'll fuck your wife." Yeah. <laughs> oh. Mm-hmm. So well, I mean, in my in my world, that's friend. called a good friend. He's being yeah. a good friend. That's called if that's, friend. if that's friend. what you yeah. define as being a good friend, absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're a terrible friend in in my Listen. reality. <laughs> like so, exactly. If, if all I'm saying is, yeah. if Ross comes to me <laughs> and he's like, "Hey, man, I need you to do me a solid." Yeah. I'm and, away and for I the need weekend. to watch it. She's gonna wear a green it. dress. Yeah. Green dress. <laughs> and I'm gonna watch. So, th- so that's what happened. So he got videotaped. His buddy, who was Bubba the Love Sponge, he used to have a huge radio show. It was. He used to be second behind Howard Stern. Uh, he was the one who videotaped him fucking his wife. Um, and the same thing happened to Kevin Hart, his best friend. Uh, he didn't find this out until the FBI found it out, but uh, was extorting him. He was taping him fucking some other girl and uh, he didn't know it was his best friend and then Whoa. tried to sell the tape back to him for five million dollars to kevin hart Whoa, yeah that, all right so that's, that's what i really call expensive. a not a good friend exactly no. I, that's not a good friend and like, this five million set. is too much to pay for porn I can i'm just saying no. uh, why not just fight fire with fire and go oh yeah let me let me talk to my accountant and then film yourself doing it on your phone and load it to the internet that night Wait, what? 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 All right, lost me. If somebody's trying to extort you with a sex tape, why not just make one and load it on the internet? Make a way worse sex tape. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if that works. No, that sounds like it it would make it worse. Like, a lot lot worse. (laughs) Right? Yeah, you got to fight sex tapes with other sex tapes. You know what you do when there's a fire? You throw gas on that motherfucker, man. (laughs) Come on down to JT's Discount PR. (laughs) We'll handle all your your problems. Don't worry. Oh, my God. That's my dogs. (laughs) What you need to do is make a sex tape tonight, and we got to load that shit up. Big black man with a sex tape? Make another sex tape. (laughs) I'm just saying, who was the bow and arrow girl from that Arrow movie? Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer asshole. Lawrence. How did you get it off of that? Yeah. <laughs> the bow and arrow girl from the bow and arrow yeah, movie. The, uh, the movie where they're hungry. <laughs> Hunger Games. <laughs> Hunger Games. Oh, yeah. Okay. So think <laughs> of this and tell me if this doesn't work. The day that her nudes leaked and every uh, account, every reporter was reporting about it. Yeah, if, and, I, and, and I definitely didn't download all of them. If she yeah, would have come out happen. and said, go to my.com. I'm selling 100 new nudes. For fifteen dollars, she would she would cash. I told that's something when I was getting blackmailed about nudes of me. I was like, dude, my abs look great in those, and I'll just take some new ones. So much traffic though, and they did so much traffic that day. They did. They did look on every TMZ news outlet. Jennifer Lawrence's nudes leak. If she went, everybody come to my site and buy my nudes. Like boom, she's bucks. worth a hundred and thirty million dollars. She could have yeah. doubled that she, in four hours. No, yeah, <laughs> three hundred sixty-three no. million. Come on down to JT's. Math. Come on down to JT's P- discount PR. We got you covered. <laughs> yeah, you got a sex day problem? We got you covered. 
Huh? It's, it's every time he just combats it with the exact yeah. same thing. <laughs> oh, so you, you, you sex battle with a sexual harassment suit sexually harass someone, someone else. else. <laughs> yeah. Nope, terrible idea. <laughs> terrible idea. <laughs> This is my this is my next green screen commercial. My discount. PR discount PR. discount PR. I love it. Or or what do they call those PR firms? Damage control PR yeah, firms. What are those yeah. called? Uh, it's crisis mitigation. Crisis, crisis mitigation. mitigation. There we go. Yeah, I like that. All right, next Ross. Uh, the Oscars are Sunday. Speaking of Kevin Hart, who was axed as the host of the Oscars because of some homophobic comments he made in his stand-up routine about five years ago. Yeah, they, yeah, they, were they, they really mixed homophobic? Him, uh, yeah, it, but it was a joke. And I, Look, I saw the movie. It was in a movie. It was a, it was a stand-up mo- movie. Um, I saw the movie, and, dude, it was a, it was a great stand-up set. Like, it, you could get away with gay jokes about six years ago. Apparently, you can't now. He got can asked, you if you're gay? I think you Can you if a- you're gay now, though? I don't no. know. Well, you could say you're gay at any point. Here's one of the, I, that's how I do one, it. One of the problems is all these comedians that got famous doing fucked up humor, like Amy Schumer, for example, <laughs> Kathy Griffin, all these lefties. They're all mining. They're it. all like, oh, you can't fucking say that. Now, like, dude, Schumer made her bones making rape jokes. Yeah. Like, yeah. no shit. Like, hardcore fucked yeah. up rape jokes yeah. and racist shit. Like, I'm the just whole saying, time. I ain't never been scared of gays unless when they got both hands on your shoulders. Then it's kind of scary. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> because. When they're like that's, grabbing you, super that's, rough. That's how they do. They're like trying to colonoscopies. That's, that's homophobic, Jared. It is. No, it's yeah, not. It's I'm just homophobic. saying. I get a little worried. Why? You know, I'm saying I'm scared. I've seen you. You, you, you are not worried whatsoever. If anything, no. you're being more aggressive towards them. Yeah, I'm pushing and, back. Yeah, yeah, you said. <laughs> like you said, milk me like a cow. Yeah. I'm your kitty. Give me some milk. You just said that. <laughs> you just said that. I've never said I'm your kitty. Give me some milk. Yeah, you, yes, I heard you, you say it. Yes, you have. <laughs> that might be another T-shirt right there. Yeah. <laughs> not, not only that, two gay dudes. <laughs> J- Jared. So speaking of the Oscars, uh, Bohemian Rhapsody is nominated for Best Picture. Brian Singer. Um, obviously touched some kids. You were at Brian Singer's house. You posted a picture of, of you and him on Instagram. What happened yes. when you were at his house? He, little, little he kitty, had an unseen... Little kitty went for a walk. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened. He had a beautiful piano yeah, that he let me he play. Did. He let me play his Steinway <laughs> concert grand. It was lovely. And then he had an a unaired episode of Rick and Morty that we watched in his movie theater, and it was fun. And then? That was it. And yeah, then? And then? And and nothing then. else happened. So my question on this, Ross, for you is like, how much can people probe into people's past where it was socially acceptable acceptable to make comedic remarks and then fast forward a decade and now they're unacceptable under current climate socially, but then ridicule them for making a joke that far back? It seems so ridiculous to like jump into people's past when it's not hate speech. It's satirical. It's uh, comedic. It's it's just fucking lunacy that people can go back in people's career, pick and choose which remark they want to get offended at, and then burn someone's career. Yeah, I like Kevin Hart. I think he's hilarious as fuck. He's mm-hmm. he's hilarious. He's, he's great. Definitely he, not homophobic. He looked, yeah, he he's w- definitely not. But homophobic. he also went on Ellen, and Ellen said, "Look, I do not believe you're homophobic. I believe you're hilarious, and your your stand up is great. Therefore, I'm going to call the Academy myself personally, and try to get you back to hosting the awards." He said, "Look, I really appreciate it, but I'm going to pass." simply because there's too much heat on it, and I don't want that to take away right. from the award winners. Matt, to your point about how far back people are mining, two days ago, uh, John Wayne, they dug up an old yeah. Playboy 1971 article. 1971 Playboy interview. Yep. Um, talking about you know blacks and, and, uh, and gays and, and what it means to him and blah, blah, blah. John Wayne's dead. Uh, not, not only is John Wayne <laughs> dead, but this article was huge in the 80s, and a, and a bunch of black people in the 80s, in particular Public Enemy, wrote a fucking song about how John Wayne was a racist. And that's fine, but they covered it in the 80s. Why this was trending on Twitter for fucking two days now from a Playboy article from 1971 just means that, that literally everyone from the left is trying to dig up er- anything. So all, anything. all of us, at some points, if Black Rifle Coffee right. goes public or anything, get ready because it's going to be an onslaught of your past and you know stupid shit you did when you were four years old riding a sheep. They're going to say you probably shit every day, it. and that's how I stay immune from this. Right? Yeah. 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 So, yeah. It's it's not going they to just end. have to look they just have to look at yesterday for me. <laughs> yeah, yesterday. Wait, this happened yesterday. Yes. So? Yesterday. Chair, 12 years so? ago, but you're like, "But did you see what happened yesterday?" Yeah, I did worse yeah. yesterday. Hey, hey guys. 
I got a little problem that I'm trying to deal with, so I got to make a sex tape. (laughs) (laughs) Why do you have 60 nudes? (laughs) John Wayne was born in Iowa in 1907. Yeah, he was racist. (laughs) I'm going to fucking save you the suspense now, folks. He was fucking racist. (laughs) 1907. Doesn't need to trend on Twitter. Yeah. yeah, That's kind of like, really? John Wayne? That's that's who you're going after? You you guys think? You think? White. That Big fan pile. of the movies, though. Big fan of the movies. Yeah. yeah. A white guy from Iowa in 1907. Come on, man. Yeah. Um, so what is this next one here we got? We have Alabama woman who joined ISIS is begging to come home. Shocking. Yeah. Yeah. So shocking. Sh- she left, what, three years ago. Thought that would be a sweet idea. Um, I'm more concerned with the fact that wherever she is with ISIS is worse than Alabama. <laughs> that is a good point. That is a good point. <laughs> I like Alabama, so you fuck y'all. Yeah. Have you been there? <laughs> yes, I've been to Alabama. Oh, okay. Um, it's lovely this time of year. I'm, 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 I'm really stretching there. They got a new AFF team. That's but about it. Are, are, do people get that brainwashed where they want to leave the states to go chase, you know, to join some you know, terrorist organization and they truly believe that their lifestyle will be better than living. She was born in, in 1994. Yes. So she okay. probably thought ahead, Hey, I could probably just come back when I feel like it. Right. Well, yeah. And, and it's like, like that's a level she, of entitlement these yeah. days. I mean, yeah, man. And Trump said, Hey, you can go get fucked. She's on her third husband. Now she's got a kid. The first two husbands got killed. Um, oh, damn. And now she's trying to come back Whoops. into the country. <laughs> yeah. Good uh, job, units overseas. Kill some yeah. more of those husbands. Fuck exactly. Those guys. Yeah. Uh, she also yeah. claims that they're staying in a village where, you know, the, all the women are, are separated from all society. They can only come what? out for a couple hours at, really? out of their in, tents. What? In ISIS? Oh, no. yeah. Jeez. What, next thing Whoa. you're to tell me they can't wear clothes and then <laughs> yeah. they're isolated so they can fuck little boys? Like, there's no way that that's going to yeah, be true. There's just no way. There's no way. Yeah. Really? It seems... Not coming back. Wow. It seems unlikely. That yeah. seems super yeah. unlikely. Um, I mean... <laughs> and and Trump, <laughs> Trump is like, congratulations. You're, you've, you're living there now. You're not fucking coming back here. I mean, there's like an empathetic part of me that goes, I feel bad for the chick, but hey, you know, you, no. did, you dug your own grave now you got to sleep in it it's like, not fuck, just about man. her it's about everybody else that might do something like Correct. this in the future yeah. fuck them yeah just don't do it don't just, be a fucking idiot to be honest drop a bomb on wherever that fucking twi- tweeter twitter fucking thing came from <laughs> yeah there you go tweeter yeah. Tweeter. Yeah. tweeter yeah, yeah. You're like my great you're like fucking john wayne sign it trying to say twitter <laughs> oh that tweeter <laughs> tweeter over there what color is it? tweeter <laughs> what color is it? what color is that tweeter man i need to <laughs> I need to find blue, out. I fucking hate blue. <laughs> hey, you know what? Take the, blue, take the kids. Blue. Take the kids. Hey, yeah, your kids are more than welcome. Come on back. Yeah, you know, yeah, we could take put them in. Yeah, let's give them some education. Show them the way of the West. Show how awesome this place and is. Maybe and we'll then... be able to train them to come back to kill their father. Yeah, <laughs> that would be oh, so great. Oh, hey. It's like reverse Star Wars, you know? Yeah. 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 Something right? like that. Yeah. yeah. I'm, a, I'm a big fan. I don't know. Really? I heard Han Solo died in one of them. I stopped watching him I after re- the third. I really like that idea. Right? <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, look at how excited he is. Stealing kids Dan, from ISIS and then training them to go and back. And training them to oh, come back. Man, I'm getting hard thinking yeah, about it. Right? Right? Oh, you're is- back from the States. Yeah. <laughs> Time to die, Cherry bitch. Ace. <laughs> That's going to be the next four die- sixteen. That's the next Die Hard movie. Yeah, yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah, I like that I a lot. Too. Maybe they should come back to kill Michael Jackson. That's that's the other hot topic this week. So the Michael Jackson HBO doc, which sold for five million to HBO at Sundance, is coming really? out only five March fourth. Well, here's here's the thing. It's it's over four hours long, and it Jeez. is super super depressing. It features two kids who were molested by Michael Jackson for numerous, numerous years. One of the scenes is a a nine-year-old where Michael Jackson performed an actual wedding ceremony with this nine-year-old boy, Um, Uh, and then he would leverage the ages of the kids against him. So as the kids started getting older, uh, if you turned 13 or 14 years old, he would only show more attention to like the eight and nine-year-olds and then kind of separate them against each other so they would fight for his love uh the family is su- of, of the michael jackson estate is suing hbo today for 100 million dollars to stop this from airing 
Huh. That's not going to happen. I don't no. think so either, but uh, that's a lot of fucking money. Their reasoning behind it is, hey, we did a huge concert special with you in 1993. They got record right. ratings. Now you're going to slam our, our son. He's right. dead, uh, one, two. He's also a pedophile. And yeah, he's a pedophile. So Get fucked. Can you kill him again? Can we, can we, bring, <laughs> can we bring him back? Through some type of DNA, uh, like the Jurassic clone. Park, we can clone humans, yeah, right, and then we could just kill him again, over and over, yeah. Because yeah. that sounds no, like that something... would be it. Would be cool to do what they did in uh, that episode of the Black Mirror, where you could kill him every hour of every day. I like day. that. I like yeah. that a lot. That was yeah, my favorite you know, episode. Everybody can pay to come yes. in and kill him. Yeah, that was my favorite episode of Black Mirror. Except like, he I am didn't fully, do it in Black I am Mirror. fully on yeah. board yeah. with that. I am fully but on the board concept. With that. The concept is solid. I'm into it. Yeah. Yeah. So totally into the, it. the question behind this is Michael Jackson's such a beloved figure and that they're, you know, the family's obviously obviously worried that this is going to sink him forever. Like the R. Kelly thing. Do you think they'll pull his music catalog and not allow radio stations and, and iTunes to have it? Well, who owns that catalog yeah. now? I thought still the fucking, didn't somebody buy that? Uh, the Beatles. No, he had the Beatles catalog. Uh, he owned the Beatles. Day. The Beatles bought their own but, catalog back. I, I think yeah. he owned it, but was selling portions of it later in life. I, I would say 75% of it, but the, whole, the, the estate owns the majority of it. Um, but what if they just shut it out? What if you said, hey, you're a fucking pedophile. We're taking all your shit off of iTunes. That's what they're doing. They're trying to do to R. Kelly right now. I mean, it hey, will be published somewhere. Fuck them. I'm, I'm all... I'm all for any and all justice towards pedophiles. Yep, same. Like, yeah. Up to I, I mean, I'm a free speech murder. guy. Like, like, ninety nine point nine percent. Like that point, the the little point zero one over there. That's for like pedophiles and white supremacists and fucking all these other weirdos yeah, out there. Fuck them. Yeah, that, that's where we kind of got to draw the line. So I would say, yeah, pull all of it, erase him. I would from just go history. with racist supremacists. Yeah, racist, racist supremacist. I'm both across the board. I'm across not saying white. I'm saying all of them across the board for sure. But yeah, that fuck it. That's a scumbag pedophile, and honestly, justice needs to be served like over and over and over again. And you know, the family members knew. Like, there's oh, just yeah. no, there's no doubt in my <laughs> mind. Those fuckers knew, so they're just about as guilty. Well, that's so, why it's probably coming out now is because they, they were very good at putting a blanket over yeah. all the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? He has a kid named Blanket. Yeah, he has a kid named what? Blanket. Yeah. So. He does. Yeah. That's, yeah. Matt well, looked at me like I was crazy. No, I'm not crazy. No, yeah. 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 That yeah. motherfucker yeah. named his kid Blanket. Right. <laughs> his, the, there's a kid named Blanket. I will say, <laughs> Sorry, I, I will say the only thing that I would, I would um, like Dave Chappelle's fucking bit on Kids going out to Michael Jackson's house is super fucking funny. Oh, but really funny. Funny. It is super too. funny. Like, God, I love you, when you they came kiss. Out, you came out to my house and I gave you a, like put you I on you, a merry-go-round. Yeah, merry-go-round. Then I fucking gave you some pills and wine and jerked you off, and now you're reporting me for <laughs> shit. What the fuck, man? <laughs> yeah. Pills and wine and a jerk off, sir. Yeah. All right, what's next, Ross? Uh, Donald Trump is the favorite in Las Vegas, including on mybookie.com for uh, well, wow, to win twenty twenty. The odds are three to two. That's that's really, really, that's really pretty fucking good. Wait, high. are people betting on the presidency? Oh, already? Yeah, fuck yeah. Already. Oh, fuck yeah. Uh, yeah. No, no, fuck no, no, yeah. no. On my bookie, though. <laughs> yeah, like, everywhere. everywhere. Oh, in, really? In Vegas, yeah. too. Yeah, so everywhere in Vegas, uh, mybookie.com. So you can everywhere. bet on who's going to win? Yes. yes. And there's odds? Oh, yeah. Whoa, Why wouldn't you be able to? I mean, it's Vegas. You can I'm just saying it's hilarious. I didn't even think about that. You can bet on anything. Bet on how fast Dan will get a boner. Yeah. To what? I mean. To murder? Yeah, ten yeah, seconds. Murder. It's a murder, but he can get a, mur a murder boner in ten seconds. I, I, yeah, I can stand up on that thing. Uh, number two, by the way, is uh, Kamala Harris. Uh, number really? three is Joe Biden, actually, and then wow. four is Bernie Sanders. That's mm. not gonna whatever. Happen. Yeah. So I mean, the, yeah, you you have to rank somebody, right? Yeah, they, I mean, have you have to somebody. rank them. Like that's. Who, I don't know like, who would be your underdog the then. So let's say you're an underdog better looking for a fucking hundred to one shot. Evan, besides Trump, who would you put money on? Because Beto hasn't announced yet. When he does, that will obviously mm -hmm. change the odds a little bit. Who would be eh, your dark horse uh, if you were betting really. against Can't Trump? Can't even win his own well, state. I, if I was betting, but you know, the thing of it is, is if uh, I, I just don't think he has a shot. But he does have the money and he does have the backing, which Bloomberg. Howard Schultz. Howard, Howard Schultz. Schultz. Ah. You know, he's he's <clears throat> he's pledged one. He is billion? pledged. Uh, uh, something like one third of his overall wealth, which is mm -hmm. over a billion dollars. Plus, he's thinking about raising another four billion on top of it. Uh, what he suspects is he can just buy this bitch. What's what he's trying? Was what Trump's was one billion? I think in uh, one point two. I think yeah, yeah. one point two. So, you know, I think four billion in, in money wow. alone. When you think about 
<clears throat> you know, can this thing be bought? That's really one of the question marks that you have to put out there. Can it be bought? And well, if Howard Schultz wins, what do we what do we think about the fucking race at that point? Me? Well, then it shows that it can be bought. I, I think so because I think the the guy has the personality of a Manila envelope, and uh, he's got a master class now, and it's the me. most boring shit. It's like, so boring. I, I have the yearly yeah. subscription, a master class, so I watch all these. I watch right. all the Gordon Ramsay stuff. I watch all the science ones. Uh, they're fucking great, but. Nerd. His is like he's like fucking around with a porta filter. I'm like, dude, have you ever even done that before? No, he hasn't. You're like fumbling around with this thing. You did business. You didn't. You fuck, did, you're not you a fucking barista. Coffee. What are you doing? Yeah, you didn't do coffee. It was so disingenuous, and he does have the personality of a mental envelope. That's true. Yes, it's bad. Yeah. So I don't is. know what he's going to look like in a debate. Trump will fucking light his. Oh, ass I know. Up in the debate. Well, and, and he, that, the worst thing about that is going into those things. You have to realize, <laughs> like, this is not my strong suit, and yeah. politics is a different game now. Mm. You can drag people through the fucking flaming dark dark depths of shit at this point. Yeah. Nothing is sacred. There's no sense of, you know, political professionalism. No. If we thought up until the last election cycle no. there it was gone, fuck. It's gonna Stand by for this one, man. Yeah. This yeah. one is going to be Trump, brutal. Trump doesn't even care for what he's saying. He doesn't give a sense. fuck. He's just like, oh, no, you care. are, but what am I? Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Fuck you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even care. Yeah. But it plays. So it I mean, plays. What are you do? And Especially it's... now, like the more AOC talks and the more Jesse Smollett show up, it's like Trump doesn't even have to do anything at this point. No. Now, and and that, none of me I've that, always said. But there's 16 candidates for the Democrats. So it's going to be the reverse of what happened in the 2016 election, where all of these people are, are going to have to tear themselves apart to try to win they're... the nomination. Trump has no one. <laughs> there's no challengers. He doesn't well, have to do anything. And, and, and that and that's the beauty of running against a, an, an incumbent is because you can let them just shred themselves yeah. going yeah. into the primary, and yeah. then you have all the ammunition that they've been digging up yeah. to use against the primary. You can, yeah. it's you you let them collect and just drive the narrative. Then you collect all the nice little nuggets in that, and you say, "Ah, you've done all my work for me. I'm no, just going to no. fucking use Somebody all this." Somebody posted shit. a really funny meme. It was an old scene from The Simpsons where all the characters are around two monkeys knife fighting, mm. and the two monkeys will label Democrats Democrats, and all the other people watching was everybody oh. else. Like, <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be this is going to be beautiful Fireworks. to watch. Like, this is this will be. For me, this will be like the Super Bowl of Super Bowls for you guys that like sports out there. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna I'm going to be yeah. tuning in. It's into gonna be this. really like, fun. This is yeah. this, this is gonna is make gonna this fun. show really fun. Oh, oh my God, it's, it's, it's gonna, gonna be a be blast. Because the first look, the first primaries start in June. We're less than four months out from the first primaries. Yep. I mean, holy fucking shit. Holy already? I, I'm sorry, uh, me. the debates. The debates. I'm sorry, the, the debates. Uh so they, like, they've already announced that they're gonna put since there's so many candidates, eight Eight people on one stage, eight on another, and then just yeah, let them like, go. At and the, it. the mid the midterm stuff will start sometime in June as well for this year. So uh, that's, that's good gonna, watching. Yeah, that'll that's be TV. all congressional seats will be up this year, and then one third of Senate. Will be I up. keep trying to find uh, any interviews with any people from Brooklyn commenting on what they think of this AOC thing, and it's like they're suppressing this. I feel like. I can't find anybody. There's no talking way about it. our social media or news now outlets would be suppressing information. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I There's sense no sarcasm. way. You know, I mean, come on, man. This is America. It doesn't work like that. Uh, all right, all right. <laughs> Martina Nevrolia. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, come but. on. Next Navratilova. up is Martina Navratilova. Come on, Jared. She's fucking a fucking Wimbledon Navratilova. champion. She's one of the best multiple. athletes of the 20th century. Exactly. Uh, right. Also, I mean, in gay. tennis, is it. Yeah, she's also gay, a uh, prominent member of a board of the LGBT community, dropped right. her for speaking out against transgendered athletes. She said it's not fair because you have a biological advantage. So that's they're, true. That, why are, that's that's not I, trans. Uh, why do they call this transphobic, though? You're not fearing anything. You're saying, hey, that's bullshit. You can't just start telling people they're fucking transphobic when they say uh, you're you're lying right it's now. Just, it's just messaging, and we're beyond that at this point. So don't right. even bother fighting that fight. Yeah, <laughs> right. However, saying some that someone who has genetically uh, more bone density and muscle mass isn't it, it doesn't have an advantage. Different hormones, like and come on, bro. lots of yeah. different things, and they get tested too, right? So the the trans athletes have a, a prescription to take testosterone, for example. Or take right. something that deadens yes. testosterone, so they can keep their testosterone at a level that keeps them uh, an athletic advantage. 
And yeah, still, it's called PEDs. Yeah, it's that's it's, essentially that's what really it is, and it's it considered is. cheating under an athletic commission. <laughs> yet it, it's yeah, but this, this is this is, is this is fucking stupid. Like why? <laughs> Now, now a gay person can't even come out and go, "Hey guys, we're uh, we're we're kind of fucking." This I gotta up tell here. you, without people like Martina Navratilova, uh, marriage equality doesn't exist in this country right, right. now. It's true. Like she's she's one of the fucking pioneers yeah. on championing gay rights in this country, and they just fucked her over, <laughs> which is ridiculous. <laughs> right? Which is championing for eight, eight, individual rights, by and, the way, which yeah. I'm a hundred and ten percent agreement yeah. with. Which this is an individual right, yeah. and you, when when you're identifying. Hey, if you played for the NBA for 10 years and you're a man and you're one of the best, name a good basketball player. Because LeBron, I don't LeBron James. James. Yeah, there LeBron James. There we go. Do you think he, if he just goes over to the, uh, the W, what, <laughs> NBA the one? With a wig. And he just starts yeah. going made, over there with a wig and he's like, yeah, I identify as a chick now. They made a hey, movie Hey, you know what? I'm going to crush this. There was a movie called Joanna Man. Wow. Back yeah. in the day. Okay. <laughs> and that's what it was. A guy got kicked out of the NBA because he had a bad attitude. I remember so Juwan. But that's the thing with me. It's like if it's your personal it's choice. To, if it's your personal think, choice no, to transition, right. go for it. No, that's go awesome. For it. I believe in that. And Juana wholeheartedly, man. you should do it and pursue your happiness. But then there's going to be limitations to the involvement of what you can do yeah. in sports and some other oh. shit. Dave, go back to the original article because I'm going to read. Or we just make a transgender like athlete. Like it's division. The, it's it's the, a division. It's the T yeah. NBA. Go for it. Yeah. And we, and we just watch fireworks over there. Great. So as is, long as there's an is, expectation across the board see, in performance, go for it. Problem solved, Matt. Yeah. yeah. There you go. This mm-hmm. is what this is just what put the, a T in front of this it. Is put what, a T in front. Let's go. This is yeah. what the organization said. Martina Navratilova's recent comments on trans athletes are transphobic based on a false understanding of science and data and perpetuate dangerous myths, the blah, blah, blah. So it's not false data and science, dude. No. Men have more bone density and more muscle mass and testosterone, period. <laughs> Like so, that's really that, that they're shit together simple, to dude. make a fucking. What decent. the fuck science are they talking about? Well, that's the thing. I I love Jared. Your point. It's like transphobia. No one's scared of transgenders. Like, yeah, go live he, your life, and I hope you. If you get picked on, call me. I'll beat the ass of the people that is her shit. being fucking fearful. Yeah, of trans no one's people. fearful. She said, uh, "That's bullshit." Yeah. yeah. Well, being a competitive athlete and having a lifelong profession in in tennis. Probably provides her a, a little bit of a podium as a subject matter expert yeah. on the subject. Rather than shunning her, they should probably listen to her and say, "Hmm, I wonder if she has a point." Yeah, I wonder if she's she's probably speaking or develop from a position some, of authority, some, some defense I in mean, their own points I, instead of just ridiculing her and ostracizing should, her from the LGBT community. She should start a new fucking movement and call it something hey, different. I could then, probably be in the UFC in the female LGB, I, right? She's or, like, guess what? Uh, I'm bringing back TMA, just LGB TMA, UFC. Could you be no more T's, no more Q's? No, no, I could. Beat a nam- man in New Year's undercard though. I could probably fight in the undercard okay, as a okay. chick. Yeah, all right. You should I'd try have to do a big weight cut though. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> What's can the I biggest keep, you can, can fight? I keep, as a can I keep my dick? Can I keep my yeah, dick? Yeah, of course. I would just like to see the controversy the of you fighting without a top on yeah. in the women's league. Because oh. you'd be the first no, you gotta go sports bra. Yeah. to say no. Wait, do I have to wear a sports bra the second I identify as? Well, you're gonna want to because it's extra advertising. Yeah, you could borrow Ross's. Yeah, I could. <laughs> Again, I'm fucking jacked. Shirtless show. Three weeks in San Antonio, kids. Dude, he's uh, so full of shit there. because uh, he's, he's fucking fluffy as fuck right now. <laughs> no. Shirtless show in San Antonio, March. Uh, uh, yeah. Shirtless Why show is in Pete San Antonio. Davidson still in the fucking news? Yes. The, the news loves Pete's. They God. love Pete. Why do they love this guy? So the, the last story of the week, the biggest hot story of the week, he threatens to kill himself, obviously, after the Ariana Grande breakup. Um, and then gets a movie deal with Judd Apatow. He's the worst right. cast member on SNL. Judd, Judd hasn't made a good movie in like fucking a decade, so fuck him. Yeah. <laughs> I, look, I, I agree. I'm, hey. d- I'm done with that whole segment of, of that shit. Like, you hey, know, the Drinking Bros shut Judd up on Twitter uh, one time. What happened? Uh, Judd, Judd went after Marty, and we sent the entire Drinking Bro group to fucking melt him down, and he nuked that thing in about 15 minutes. Yeah. Oh, he deleted the tweet. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And if you know Marty Scovlin, you know he's never taken a position on every anything in anything. his life. <laughs> he's like yeah. the most straight line journalist I've yeah. ever seen in my the life. The ginger Sasquatch. Ginger he doesn't, Sasquatch. He really doesn't take a position. No. Yeah. It's so stupid. Uh, yeah, well, I don't. I don't know how these fucking people uh, get deals. I mean, if this is all you have to do today is is threaten to kill yourself, fuck, man, I'd done that years ago. 
Uh, that is the <laughs> that is the fake news. The what? headlines. That's fake news fake for you, fake news, news. ladies fake and news. gentlemen. Fake news. Oh. All the bullshit that doesn't really matter. No, yeah. it doesn't really matter. You can come back next week, and there's going to be more shit that that doesn't really fucking matter. Yeah, uh, I mean, it almost makes us excited for next week because what the fuck is going to yeah, be? What the fuck is, what the fuck is gonna happen next yeah, week? Yeah, if you see something that you want to hear about, go on to the uh, go on to the listeners. Yeah, page. Drinking Bros Send Podcast listeners group. Yeah. Ross's address at seven. 742 <laughs> uh, Gleewood Lane yeah Jesse's Hot Lane oh um, Jesse yeah hey say that again we need to get her on the show yeah more we often. do yeah. we need to get more pictures we, we of her we need to replace one of the hosts <laughs> from yeah, North with Carolina <laughs> with a female yeah you know what I mean <laughs> she was on the show when when she was in labor so uh, no I'm saying like true. replace replace one out here one of like the have, North Carolina have hosts one of the North Carolina hosts replaced with her oh yeah yeah, yeah. gotcha you got you, Come got you. out here, of course, <laughs> and of course. I think that would be probably a good move for the show. Yeah, yeah. give us a womanly, you know, touch. Ross yeah. is going to get a gender reassignment surgery now. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, you know, that sports bra makes sense then. Yeah, right? exactly. <laughs> According to Jared, I have the sports bra. Oh, um, Ross moves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So look, we'll see how this show does. If you like it, uh, comments fucking hit us up. If you um, don't like it, we'll stop doing. Yeah, it. we'll, we'll stop, stop doing it. it. Uh, for Evan Hafer, Matt. Best, Jared Taylor, D'Anthony, D'Anthony Holloway. I'm Ross Patterson. This is the fake news. <laughs>